Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything releasing in week eight of Palace's Spring 2024 collection. Welcome back, guys. Well, I think you know why we're here. We're here. I said I would be here doing a drop list video for week eight if there was uh, a breakdown of all the pieces releasing from the Palace Gap collaboration. And uh, there is, but boy, there is a lot of them. <laughs> this collection is like a 50 something piece collection. It is massive. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to attempt to try and cover it all. We have a lot to talk about, but we're going to be covering more than just all the pieces. We'll be covering the release details, my thoughts on the pieces, etc., etc. How we're going to cover all that is by using a Palace community page. We'll head on over to that page now and we'll start covering the release details for this week eight collab. Here we are, guys. If you want to vote on the items yourselves, it'll be linked down in that description section below. But here is the massive collaboration that is releasing between Palace and Gap. Man, they are pumping out a lot for this collaboration. But we'll get into that shortly. We've got to cover when and where it's dropping. So the items are releasing on Friday, March 22nd, 2024. That will be 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on palace.com, uh, the US store at least. It'll be 11 a.m. GMT time for the UK store. Uh, it'll be releasing in various Gap stores as well. That um, is available on Palace's online store. Uh, you can check which stores it's releasing there. It'll be releasing on the Saturday for Japan, China, and Korea, uh, in-store and online, depending on the region. It's releasing everywhere. There's a lot of it. It's pretty crazy, it's pretty wild, um, but yeah. That is all the release details I can really give you. Um, if you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can. But yeah, Phew. let's get into it. Let's start by covering the hats that are going to be releasing in week eight. We've got a couple releasing this week. We've got three different designs for this collaboration. We have this design, the duck design, and the flag design as well showcasing all the areas the palace stores are located. Now, the duck design, I think, is a kid's exclusive. So unless you've got a small head, I don't think you're going to be able to pick that one up, which for me, I'm completely ruled out. <laughs> um, we have the Gap logo with the huge palace P on it with the like off-center uh, G and A from Gap. Um, it's fun, it's playful, it's like just slapping the Gap logo on top of a palace cap. It's kind of fun, but I don't think I'd really want to wear it. I think I'm most interested in the flag hat. Uh, it's just the color offerings for the flag hat are a bit hit or miss. So I don't think I'd want these colors. I think the navy is probably preferable for me. Um, I just don't think I could wear this cap here. So I, I would like the, the kids cap, but my big ass head is uh, not going to let me wear that. So yeah, I think I'm kind of stuck on this cap out of all of them. The t-shirts, we have that same design appearing on all these different colors and in kids versions as well. Uh, the kids only get it in a navy, black, white, and that's it. Um, but the adults get it in a couple other colors. Uh, I like, it's fine. I just... I'll just stick with my my all black t-shirts and all white t-shirts without the logos on it, but uh, each to their own. I won't bother downvoting on them all, but um, maybe you'll get around this more than I will. The skateboard hardware releasing this week, which is three Palace skateboards. Awesome to see. They don't do enough uh, skateboards for their collabs, so I'm quite happy to see this one here. Uh, I like the white one. I like the Oxford one because it features the shirt as the background. The camo one, you kind of lose me there. The shirting, we have the collared shirts. We have the kids getting a awesome Oxford drop shoulder button up shirt in a patchwork design or an all white design. I love the design of it. I'm kind of bummed out that the kids get it as an exclusive because I would love to have it in the adult section. We've then got the rugby shirt releasing in uh, two very similar color styles, but 
Uh, the note that I want to make is that the kids one is a lot more vibrant. You can see it in the color, while the adults one, as much as it does feature the same color, is toned down a little bit. And I think I like the, the adults one a little bit more because even though it features that color, it's not as bright. The kids one, it's too bright for me, but also would never fit me anyway. So why am I concerned anyway? With the jackets, we have uh, a windbreaker releasing in a kids and adult sizing. Nice colors on it. It's a nice piece for sure. Uh, it also comes in a white and green color for the adults, but I think the navy and yellow is just is just a lot nicer for me. Then we have the Palace Gap Kids Varsity Jacket, also coming in an adult size as well. Love the Varsity Jacket. I'm a huge sucker for Varsity Jackets. It's a big thumbs up for me on both of those pieces. Up next, we have the socks. Uh, the kids only. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna fit my huge ass feet. And I don't really like socks with a bunch of branding on them. So I think I'll leave them as a downvote this week. For the bottoms, we have a uh, tracksuit bottom and a couple cargos and uh, some board shorts as well. Nothing that's really appealing to me. And if I did want the tracksuit, uh, I definitely want the matching half to it. I do like the colors and design on it though. But um, yeah, the cargo pants, I don't know. There's definitely better cargo pants that I've seen being released by other brands for sure. The luggage, we have a backpack, just a black one. I'm not a big backpack person these days. I'm more of like a side bag or a duffel bag. So for me, I think I'll have to leave that one as a downvote. To the sweatshirts, we have the socks that, oh, okay. I thought the socks were just kids exclusives, but they put them in the sweatshirts for some reason. Does it change how I feel about them? No, it's still a downvote for me on those. Uh, how do I feel about the collaborative hoodie with the Palace logo on the front, the Gap logo on the back? Uh, like the gray feels iconic to me. Like whenever I think of a Gap hoodie, I think of a gray hoodie with the navy font or that in reverse, a navy uh, hoodie with a gray logo. Um, that's at least how I feel as an Australian. That's what I think is iconic to Gap. But uh, like, it's cool. Yes, I would wear it and whatnot, but I wouldn't be like scrambling for a piece like this. Like if it propped up, someone's worn it, beaten it up and they're getting rid of it for nothing, like then I'd pick it up. But I'm not gonna be super hard pressed if like these all sell out this week. To the custom tops, we have the Palace uh, tracksuit coming in kids and adult sizing. I actually like the tracksuit. The tracksuit's nice. I like the colors. I like the design. Uh, turns out the Oxford shirts do come in a adult sizing as well. That's fantastic because I love the patchwork one. I love when Palace does patchwork uh, Oxford shirts. I like the white one. The camo one, not so much. Then we have the Palace Gap heavy jersey t-shirt. I like this. I like the logo on it. I like the colors they've chosen. That's going to get a thumbs up from me across the board. Then to the accessories. I actually really like this. This is really nice to see. Palace does a sticker pack for the season and releases it in their first week every season. So it's actually quite nice to see like a collaborative sticker pack. I actually wish that Palace did that with more of the collaborations that they do. I think that's a really fun accessory to release because it's just like, if you don't like any of the clothing, you don't like any of the accessories, at least you can get some stickers with the motifs that both of these brands did together. I think that's a really fun thing. Then we have Palace Gap Duck Plushie coming in. Well, a mini size. I don't know how small that actually will be. I love it. It's the Palace Duck wearing a Gap t-shirt holding the Gap G. Love it. Awesome piece. Love the accessory. That's a thumbs up from me. But that is the week eight release. How do I feel about the Palace Gap collaboration? Uh, I think I still feel the same way that I felt in the streetwear talk video when I talked about the editorial. I think it's very versatile, very consumable. Uh, I think that in itself speaks to Gap as a brand. And it's got some palace motifs in here. So it feels like a palace collaboration. Uh, one of my favorite pieces from the collaboration, you know I'm gonna say the Varsity Jacket. Uh, I do really like the plushie, but also the heavy jerseys are quite nice and they look very boxy in the cut that they've done. So yeah, I do really like the tracksuit, but I don't think I would wear the tracksuit myself. 
but I do really like the whole suit as a design in its color and everything like that. But um, yeah, that's everything that I really have to say about my thoughts on the week eight release and the collaboration as a whole. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the collab and the week eight drop down in that comment section below. And that's everything covered about the week eight release, guys. We covered the release details. It's dropping Friday, March 22nd, or Saturday, March 23rd, depending on your region. Uh, we covered the collaborative pieces. There were no seasonal pieces releasing in this weekly drop. And we covered my thoughts on the week eight drop. I'd love to hear from you guys now on what you're looking to pick up from week eight. Do you want to pick up the varsity jacket, maybe just the accessories, or maybe just a collaborative hoodie? Let me know what you're going to be grabbing from this week eight release down in that comment section below. Of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace weekly releases, collaborations and collections, you know what I'm going to ask you for. I'm going to ask you for the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, I'm trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,835 subscribers before the end of the month. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we'll be able to reach that milestone before the end of the month. That is everything I have to say about this week 8 drop though guys, so I wish you the best of luck if you're going for something from the release. Hopefully you can pick it up in the size and colour that you're after if you are picking something up. But until the next Palace video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Droplist video in general, I'll catch you later.